Yeah, here we are. Back in the shed, it is really, it has been an ugly day outside. Uh, early this morning, it was raining. I managed to, to get in just a couple of kilometers of a walk and it's now just this minute stopped raining outside. Uh, but we have a greater priority. Uh, what we're gonna do is sharpen the chainsaw. I'm not gonna bore you with the, the process. If you followed this vlog, uh, you will see that I've used this electric sharpener and I used to sharpen by hand uh, for like years and years and years. And a friend of mine said, oh look, you should try the electric sharpener, it's just so much easier. And I went, oh, I don't know. And he said, look, it's like, you know, just get one and you'll, you'll, you'll know. And he was right. <laughs> it's, it's much easier to sharpen with these. It takes a lot less time and absolutely brilliant. This thing uh, is amazing. I'm, I heartily recommend the Perla Barb El Cheapo Chainsaw from Jono and Jono. This, to replace the Husqvarna that I have, which is a 365 that I got 20 odd years ago. This thing, this thing here, which is so heavy. It, it's about a third heavier than this one. But now I'm not sure about how long this is going to last. It makes its power differently. The, um, the Husqvarna is a compression, is the way it makes its power. It's, this one revs, and so it's easier to start. Um, and at $200, you really can't go past it because to replace that one, I think I've said before, is about 1500 bucks. This is $200. Um, and from Jono and Jono, it's $200. To put that into perspective, this is the Ozito, also made in China. This is a 16-inch, I think, yeah. This uh, cost just on the $200 mark a few years back, and it is, you know, half the size. So this is very good. As a professional chainsaw, there's a question mark because uh, if you've seen the professional operators operate, you think, well, I don't know, even that, that one down there would, would be pushed. This one, however, for doing a mum and dad weekend, it's already cut a year's worth of wood. Hasn't missed a beat. Um, so if it lasts for, um, or if it lasts for the one year, which it already has, it's paid for itself. Because to buy a, a year's worth of wood is gonna cost you at least $600 so see, if that was like a hundred dollars a trailer load, you'd want six, um, and it's worth more than a hundred dollars these days. So this at two hundred dollars, done a year's worth of wood, it's paid for itself. It certainly has. Um, you could even afford to buy another one, and still, they would. Um, you'd come under the cost of buying six trailer loads of wood. <sighs> if I had have known. <laughs> 20 years ago, they didn't make these. Um, good chainsaw. As I've said, I'll let you know as we progress how it's going. It's going really well. This is still the first chain and it hasn't been sharpened. And we've had it for, um, I think two months and we haven't sharpened the chain yet, which is pretty good. So it's holding its edge. It does need sharpening now. So that's what we're gonna do with this. But we also, are going to go out and get some wood and put that in the house. And later on, we'll be heading off to Albury and Wodonga to do a couple of things in Albury. Then we'll be going to Aldi in Wodonga. And as I mentioned, we, we, we might be getting a couple of those ready meals. I'll we'll do a special segment on um, the, the takeaway or the, the, the frozen ready meals that you uh, stick in a microwave. And we'll see what they're like because I have never um, actually bought those things. Um, 
And I've always wanted to have a go and see what they're like. You never know, they might be okay, they might not. But we'll, we'll see, we'll buy a couple of them and see what they're like and whether they're worthwhile. But that, that'll be in a whole separate video that we'll put up for you. So that's what we're about and that's what we'll be doing on Monday. Right now it's Sunday afternoon. I have to heave to and get some wood for tonight because tonight's going to be pretty damn cold. <sighs> yeah, as you, oh, you can probably see, I don't know that the camera makes it look a lot brighter than what it really is, but uh, we've done the chainsaw, we've done wood, and it's getting late in the day. Now it has stopped raining. And it looks like, I feel like I owe myself another three kilometers, I really do. So I might get out there and uh, knock over another three kilometers, but really it's about time to get inside and get warm. And uh, I hope where you are, you're nice and warm. Here in Australia at the moment, it ain't warm. No, it doesn't get like freezing, although we nearly had snow yesterday. Um, we nearly had snow Friday night too, but uh, we didn't. But uh, some parts of Beechworth, certainly got snow and Mount Buffalo which is uh, not due to get snow until the next couple of weeks the Queen's birthday weekend is like the 14th of June roughly that's her official birthday and that's the snow opening a weekend it's a long weekend and they get snow or not then but we've got snow early so there you go so that's what's going on here. It's cold. It's not frosty. It's just cold. The threat of snow and we do get rainy, sleety sort of things happening. So not storms, it just comes down. And then it's like this for a while, which it's uh, not even blowy. This is just a very gentle sort of breeze in the trees. And uh, <laughs> we, we might get a bit more um, rain tonight, but uh, yeah, we haven't had the frosts, the like minus five frosts or anything, so that's a good thing. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, so we're on our way to Aubrey. Turn that down so you can hear. Yeah, we're on our way to Albury and the sun is out, but there's no kick in that sun. And uh, going to head up to Albury and uh, see what's what, do a little bit of shopping, and uh, that's about it, really. All right, we'll see you when we get there. Right. Yep, one car park looks like another. Here we are in um, Aubrey. You can see Aubrey if you look really hard. There's the exit there and Aubrey is just out there. But anyway, we're going up to the shopping centre. Well, actually, we're not going to the shopping centre yet. Um, this, is, this is Kmart's multi-storey underground thing. And we're actually going to... <laughs> up the main street we'll be back we'll be back so we're going up there and um, then we'll be back to um, we going to Kmart at all maybe maybe we'll, we might we'll, we'll see yeah so we came to Albury and look at the curtains and we found tablecloths <laughs> there's a whole ton of, of uh, this is, this is uh, Lincraft, and there's a whole ton of, of uh, fabrics everywhere. So Mrs. Mac is having a great time looking, and I'm sort of just following. Right, we've come to Diner King, right there in the food court, and we're having coffees, and I had. A donut one, a donut. It was nice. This is Matt Max too. So there we are. So that's the food. This, this is the Kmart Plaza. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's where we are. For a while. 
we're here in Albi and we're going to see if we can get a couple of those red emails and the, 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 and we'll see if they're actually worthwhile they're up here somewhere um, probably in the next aisle we'll get them and we'll show you when we get home yeah. but uh, at the moment we're in Albi so I'll, I'll, turn, I'll turn the thing around here we are and we're doing stuff yeah we're in the peanut aisle very appropriate <laughs> and uh, yeah so all the these are a $1.99 for a big bag of chips up there all the different flavours my goodness yeah keep away from those they put the weight on you and we're here in Wodonga now, and it is raining, and we're, we're undercover, but it's sort of semi-sunshine and semi-rain. That's better. Rainbow, very faint one, but there it is nonetheless. It's a cold old day in northeastern Victoria. And that's, that's where I have to turn around and go back because the water is too deep to, to walk through. But uh, yeah, it was raining early this morning. It's now early afternoon, around about 2.30. And it's time to go back and get warm. Don't know what the temp is right now. It's cold. But uh, thanks for all the views on our previous video. That was huge, over 200. Don't know what I did. Don't know what you did, but hey, thank you anyway. Thanks for watching and the views again. And we'll catch up with you in the next video. It's starting to spit out a little. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell, do all that stuff. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.